Let's talk of metformin, which in one paper suggested it may be the aspirin of our time, originally used just for type 2 diabetes. It turns out that this drug acts on deep cellular switches that control how our bodies handle energy, inflammation, blood vessel growth. Metformin activates AMPK, a kind of energy sensor, and in turn slows MTOR, a key growth pathway involved in insulin resistance, abnormal vessel formation, and even cancer cell growth. In pregnancy, that matters a lot. In gestational diabetes, metformin often matches insulin for blood sugar control with less maternal weight gain, and in some studies, fewer large babies and less neonatal hypoglycemia. Now, one major study in obese pregnancy didn't cut large for gestational rates, but it did reduce preeclampsia, a sign that metformin may improve placental vascular health, not just glucose levels. Beyond pregnancy, diabetic patients on metformin showed lower rates of better outcomes. In several cancers and early aging research suggests that it might help people live a healthier, far longer lives, though those areas still need to be studied by randomized controlled trials. Now, metformin isn't magic, and the long-term safety for babies exposed in uterus may be clarified. But the idea that one inexpensive drug touching gestational diabetes, preeclampsia, cancer, longevity through shared pathways is reshaping how clinicians and researchers think about prevention.